Good morning, Eldorado. I'm Claire Lactash. And I'm Brianna Crawford. Welcome to Hawk Talk. Do you know what classes come back for a second year? <laughs> no, what class? The most awesome, hardcore, super fun, fantastic... Wait, who wrote this? It's not that bad. No, seriously, who wrote this? Actually, it was me. But you know who should have written it? Script writing. Script writing had its first year last year and was started when I decided that there was a severe lack of any kind of creative writing classes available on campus. And my beginning theater students write scripts every year and it's one of their favorite units so I thought it might be fun to create a whole class where we focused on how to write and produce a play or a screenplay. We learned basic um, formatting for screenwriting and playwriting. We learn to strengthen and build the story as well as develop the characters so that you can bring all three together into making a full length or just a short screenplay. Students who are really interested in creative writing, it, whether it be short stories or novels or script writing, uh, I would encourage them to join this class. It's definitely uh, created with them in mind. It's a class for anyone who really wants to write something other than an essay in an English class. I'm happy that script writing is here to stay. Yeah, you would think that. This weekend was the Anaheim International... <laughs> Excuse me, is there a problem? I don't know, Brianna, is there? You know what? That segment can wait. Let's take a closer look into what bullying really is. Kids all over the world that attend elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and also those who use the internet are in the four major locations where bullying takes place. Most of the time, of course, when we're talking about bullying, we're talking about really it has to do with power and control. Okay? Usually it's somebody that has, that's either stronger or maybe they have something, uh, in some way they have more uh, power than the other person and they take advantage of it. It could even be sexual harassment at work or even in domestic violence. What are the things that this person is thinking of? First thing on their mind would be that they want to not go to school and deal with it and to also switch out of schools because they think that they're going to be bullied every single day and they just don't want to deal with that and commit suicide which they're taking their own life for something that another person did to them. So what can we do to stop bullying? Treat others like you want to be treated. Because if you bully someone, you wouldn't want someone else to bully you. So let's stop bullying. Before more incidents happen. In school and in the world. Wow, I didn't know bullying could hurt someone so bad. It's okay, Claire. I'm glad you learned something. I sure did. Anyways, as I was saying earlier, this weekend, Eldo's very own Golden Hawks got to go to the Anaheim International Film Festival. Last Wednesday through Saturday, 14 Eldorado students had their short film screened in the Anaheim International Film Festival's One Minute Film Challenge. Wednesday was opening night which had a red carpet and after screening party for the filmmakers, and Saturday was a screening of these 14 students' one minute films, along with the other work that was also entered. Each film had to be exactly 60 seconds and could be on any topic the filmer wished to choose which could range from animation to short film. Out of 200 entered videos, 30 were selected as finalists. Coming in third place of the challenge was El Dorado's very own Kyle Irvin with his film, Life of Louie. Congratulations to all the students that were screened. Now back to the ladies in the studio. Way to go, guys. You did a great job, but Brianna, they aren't the only ones who deserve some special recognition. You're right, Claire. There's a special hawk every month that gets a little extra attention. And they deserve it. That's why they're a senior of the month. Elena Guevara is our uh, senior class president this year. She's in charge of our uh, homecoming dance committee. And uh, her teachers love her. She's a wonderful person. Uh, in the classroom and out of the classroom. She carries above a 4.0 GPA with all the stuff that she does on campus. She's in numerous AP courses and uh, students and teachers alike just think the world of her. Elena is a fine young woman. I've known her since the end of sophomore year when we both won our elections for ASB. It's one of those people that when you look at her, it's like you want to smile. There's nothing bad you can say to her. She's super sweet and I had the privilege of knowing her. It's really made my, my year the best. 
I've known Elena for about six years now. We met at Tuffery, and I cannot think of anybody better who is worthy of this award than Elena. She is an extremely passionate individual who pours her heart and soul into everything she does. Congratulations, Elena, on being September's Senior of the Month. Congratulations, you really do deserve it. Of course she does. And you know what's next, Brianna? I think you'll really like it. What? Sports. Football is now one and one in league play. The Manhawks finished 24 to 47 against Canyon on Thursday. Jordan Long had an impressive 226 yards rushing, scoring a touchdown in the second quarter. Also scoring in the fourth quarter were Matt Geal and Hayden Dunn. They play Esperanza tomorrow night. Tennis had yet another victory, winning 12-6 against Valencia. Sweeps came from singles Natalie and Gabby Edgigary, and the dominating doubles Michelle Cyrus and Bridget Edgigary, and Carly Tunby and Joanne David. Volleyball beat the Wildcats on Tuesday 3-0. Kelly Clays led with 14 kills, and the varsity team is now 6-1 in league. Watch them play Canyon tonight at 5.30. Last Saturday, the cross-country team competed in the Orange County Championships. A congratulations goes out to the varsity girls team for placing 7th overall in Division 2. Team captain Corinne Charnay placed 2nd individually, and freshman Cassidy Towner placed 10th. Both Corinne and Cassidy were named All-County for their performances. Girls Golf had two team members, Sammy Yu and Nicole Bedros, make the first cut of league finals. Neither advanced to CIF regionals, but both girls made 2nd team All-League. Men's water polo finished 6-12 against El Medina on Tuesday. Get yourself to the pool to watch the game against Bell Garden tonight. See, I told you sports were exciting. You're right, Claire, but I feel like I forgot something. That's because you did. And what's that? Your daily dose of extra announcements. You want to see burning methane bubbles? Well, come to the Physics Chem Club meeting today in room 708. Rose Drive Elementary is looking for volunteers to work their fall festival on Friday, October 22nd at 3.30. Please contact Kelly Kraling at 714-815-3515 or email to kellycrayling at yahoo.com. College representatives, there will be a representative from the following colleges on campus on the following dates. If you would like to attend their presentation, you must sign up in the counseling office to receive your pass. Point Loma University and Vanguard University on Tuesday, October 26th. Marist College and Saka University on Wednesday, October 27th, and UC Riverside on Tuesday, November 2nd. You still need a costume for Halloween? Well, come to the theater at lunch today. Japanese Club's first meeting of the year will be on Tuesday, October 26th. Attention all CSF members. Don't forget there's a Halloween movie night this Friday from 6.30 to 9 p.m. in room 704. Want to win a cool prize at the assembly? Then deck yourself out in your class color and represent. Freshmen are red, sophomores are white, juniors are gold, and seniors are black. Homecoming tickets. Beginning October 21st, tickets are $25 with ASB and $30 without. Remember to bring your student ID card with you when you buy your ticket. If you are bringing a guest from off campus, you must have the guest pass completed and signed with a photocopy of the guest ID when you come to buy the tickets. Homecoming voting! Come vote for your homecoming court at lunch! Guess that's all we have time for on this episode of Hawk Talk. This has been Brianna Crawford and Claire Lactash. Stay golden, El Dorado.